Well, hello, friends. I am so glad that y'all came back to see my channel today. I've got something that I think you're going to enjoy. This is a video of some of the highlights of living in North Carolina. Now, we live in the Piedmont of North Carolina, which is in the center of the state. And so because of that, we are three hours away from the mountains and three hours away from the coast. And we try to soak up every minute of it that we possibly can. When my husband and I were young, we always wanted to live in North Carolina because of that. And now that we do, we try to go to the mountains or to the beach as often as possible. So last weekend, we went up to Beach Mountain and Blowing Rock and Banner Elk just for fun. Now we're in Blowing Rock in this in this part of the video and they were having a 4th of July celebration. So you can see they were having a watermelon eating contest among so many other festivities and we had so much fun watching that. They had a big parade. You can see that golf cart going down the road there. We also had lunch at one of my favorite favorite places. If you ever get a chance to eat at Bistro Roca, make sure that you do. You probably will need reservations because they're packed. They boast of having the longest operating bar in the state of North Carolina. I think it's been around since the days of Prohibition, but you can see it's a beautiful place to eat. Great atmosphere, great food, delicious cocktails. I had one called Lavender Haze and it hit the spot. It was so refreshing. And you can see this beautiful pond with a gazebo and it's a great atmosphere. Everything is always so well kept and friendly and we just enjoy every time we come up here. There's another restaurant that we enjoy going to also. It's called Sixpence. So if you're ever in the area, be sure to eat at either the Bistro Roca or Sixpence. And here's just some of the shops that are available. This is a soap and candle shop and I kind of peered into the window there so you could get a glimpse of what they were doing in there. Somebody was pouring candles. One of the things that I love about Blowing Rock is the variety of flowers that they grow up there. Their temperature is milder up there than it is down where we live, so it's not nearly as hot. And they have the most beautiful gardens up there. Somebody really does a great job of putting all of these flowers together and I just love looking at them. We heard music while we were there. They had a, a live bands playing, so we heard different bluegrass musicians, and it was it was wonderful to listen to all of that. Now, this is the community library, and it's a beautiful, beautiful stone building. And the day that we went, we they were having a book sale, so I can't resist a book sale especially if it's an old library book. So I had to go in and see what all they had to offer. And you can see the interior of the library here. And there it is right there. Isn't that a beautiful room? Wouldn't you love to sit in there on a rainy day and just read all those books? I got a volume of Keats writings and then a book about portrait painting. So I've had a lot of fun looking through those. And this is a fun place. This is an area, there's a business here called Mystery Hill. And they have so many fun things in this area to do. Also, Tweetsie Railroad is here. And so we would take our children when they were young up to see Thomas the Tank Engine. And we would ride that train and ride all those rides. And just loved going up there when they were kids. Now this area that we're driving through now is called Sugar Mountain and they have a big ski resort. There's the Alpine Ski Center you can see there and it's a fun place to go to. There's another soap and candle shop and then they have an Alpine slide where you can, it's like a, a goodness, it's a little coaster you can ride on. And it's a beautiful area. And again, it's so cool up there. The temperature is really cool. And this little area here is called Banner Elk. 
and it's at the foot of Beach Mountain. And while we were there, they were also having a festival of their own, and they were having something called Art on the Green. And so in front of the little schoolhouse, they were showcasing different art and artists who lived in the area and who wanted to sell their artwork. So many beautiful things to see. Now, we're at Beach Mountain right now, and so we're at the top of the mountain. And Beach Mountain is the highest town in the eastern United States. It's 5,506 feet above sea level. And the average temperature up here is just 72 degrees in the summertime. It's gorgeous, and most homes don't even have air conditioners because there's no need. And while we were up there, they were having their 58th annual barbecue celebration. So they had barbecue, and they had fireworks that night. And in the wintertime, they've got a little area where you can go sledding for free. And so we like to go up there and take the kids. We took the kids when they were young. And also, I don't know if any of you have ever heard of the Land of Oz theme park, but there's a theme park up here that was opened in the 60s devoted to the Wizard of Oz. And it shut down. My husband actually went there when he was a little bitty boy, but it shut down and people used to go and and walk the trails like the yellow brick road trails and show it on youtube so it became very popular again so they opened it back up as a seasonal with seasonal visitation only and they fixed it back up too so people buy tickets and i believe they do it in the spring and the fall i know they do it in the fall because we've been several times in the fall and it's not cheap to go but it is well worth it especially if you are a wizard of oz fan if you're not I wouldn't go and i wouldn't take little children either because you have to walk a lot and it's the last time i was there it wasn't stroller friendly and it's not little kid friendly either for walking. You know, as far as it's, they would be fine, but you're going to have to tote little kids. And so that, that could wear you out. <laughs> is Fred's Mercantile. This is the best place. There's no, this, they have everything you need and nothing you don't there at Fred's Mercantile. They, they have food in the basement. They have a restaurant. They have a grocery store. They uh, rent snowboards they also in the attic they have art for sale and it's just a, a great place to go get your supplies if you're going to stay up up on beach mountain for any amount of time now we are in the far eastern part of the state so we got home from Beach Mountain and turned around the next day and went over to Wrightsville Beach. My husband had some business in Jacksonville, North Carolina, so he took my daughter Lainey and I to Wrightsville Beach, and we stayed at the Holiday Inn Lumina Hotel And then while he went and worked. And so we had the best time. This is the nicest beach. I mean, all of them are nice, but this one is nice. It's not really heavily populated. It's not super touristy. There's not a lot of touristy things to do here as far as shops and things like that. It's just more family oriented. It's very calm and quiet. You know, it does get really busy in season, but for the most part, it's a quieter beach, but it's very clean and just a beautiful place to go. While we were there, there was a little surf school and they were teaching children how to surf and as a mother it was scary to me because they were little bitty children and they had on their their bathing suits and they were with some teenagers who were teaching them how to surf and it looked like so much fun but it scared me to death thinking about those little babies in the water they were six I think the youngest might have been six but they didn't have life jackets on and that's I mean you can't you can't surf with a life jacket on I know that but not growing up at the coast, it was a little scary. And no visit to the beach is ever complete without a stop on the way home at P.D. Orchards. We had a scoop of scuppernog ice cream and a scoop of peach ice cream, and it was delicious. 
Friends, thank y'all so much for watching the video today. Leave it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I can't wait to see you on the next one. Take care.